Hello, Cypher's community. Welcome back to another one Tanks Concert video. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving the Skoda T45, the Linus. And this is a three shot. Well, actually, it has two different guns it has a single shot gun and a autoloader gun. And I will be doing another video on this tank for the single shot. But right now, let's do the gun I like the best, which is the gun that you should put on the tank, which is the three shot autoloader gun which also a lot of people don't know because I've been running in a lot of Linus and they have not been running it which is interesting I guess it's a premium tank and a lot of people don't know as an upgraded gun also the upgraded gun is the three shot auto loader gun so where do you get this tank why is it important to get this tank well this tank is the ultimate season pass tank so it's 6,000 gold for the ultimate season pass what do you get in the ultimate season pass? Well, you get a season pass, which is 2,000 gold right there. You skip 25 stages, and you get the 3D white tank commander, which is actually 3,300 gold. And you get a tier 7 premium heavy tank that has a pretty dang good gun. So, is the 6,000 gold worth it for the ultimate season pass? I think so. I definitely think so. You're getting a 3D commander. It's a three-star commander, so it already has three skills. It earns a lot of XP. A tier seven heavy tank. It has a really good uh, gun. And season pass. And it's got 25 stages. So anyway, let's not talk about the ultimate season pass. So, what am I running on this tank? Basically, I'm running optics, power terrain, and the advanced gun leader. My commander is actually my TVP 5051 crew, which is still pretty dang good for this kind of tank. I'm running Borderlander, Rapid Loading, Six Sense, Solid Driving, Green Thumb, Situational Awareness, Steady Aim, Dead Eye, and Off-Road Driving. Now, so let's talk about the gun. Now, this is like three shot auto loader gun. And it does 220 damage per second. Its inner clip reload is 2.5 seconds. So that means you can do 660 damage in five seconds. It's not the greatest burst damage, but that is pretty good for a tier seven heavy tank. There's not many tanks that can do like 660 damage really quickly. Like as fast as this one can do. You see the OI kind of just butter through the armor of the OI put my three shots in and he's almost dead that's a pretty that tank has a lot of armor and a lot of hit points for tier six i know i was angling shooting down on him but still the hit points shoot his hit points up and now i'm just going to chase the oi around so hello i and now you're dead there's a boogie so inner clip reload is 2.5 seconds like i said um, gun depression. Surprisingly, this tank actually has really gun, really good gun depression at seven degrees, which I am surprised to know that it has seven degrees of gun depression. The mobility of this tank is thirty-five going forward and fourteen reverse. It's not a very mobile heavy tank, but it has a pretty decently good horsepower per ton at fourteen point oh five. Its view range is three seventy. And hence why I'm using optics and situation awareness. With those two, and plus the rations, I have my view range at the 473 meters. And I'm also definitely heavy enough to ram tanks. So, what else? Um, penetration is 194 on its standards. Pretty good for a tier 7 heavy tank. 250 on its premium, and 44 on its high explosive. Um, the DPM is 1,610. Not the best DPM. It's kind of good. It's okay for tier 7. But it's all about the burst damage this thing can do. So what else? Accuracy is 0.4. And times 2.7 seconds. In armor. Turret armor. Has 160 at the front. It's angled in sort of way. Also, this Linus right here is only using the single shot. I think he's kind of confused. Like, oh, wait. 
Why is he firing so fast? But yeah. <laughs> All I need to know. And since I have like 298 hit points, I can definitely put three more shots in while he puts one shot into me. So anyway, uh, turret armor is 160 millimeters thick. You, you can deal with it. It can definitely bounce shots. But I wouldn't definitely go hold down against tier 8s or tier 9s in this tank. Against 5, 6, or 7s, yes. Turret armor can definitely withstand the barrage. As long as they don't load premium rounds. The whole armor is 110 at the front. Which is angled. You did see me bounce my 194mm of penetration off the upper point of the Linus. I did. So the armor does work. But don't really depend on the whole armor. It's more the turret armor that you should depend on while using your 7 degrees of gun depression. Other than that, this is just... It doesn't have the best armor. It's not going to be blocking the most shell, the most damage. As you can see, I'm down 62 hit points. I bounce 460 damage. And you'll see in the next replay, I don't bounce that much either in that game. But it's all because of this gun... The gun, the gun, the gun is really good on this tank. Also, if you didn't notice, this is Dragon Ridge, a returning map, which this map is 1200 by 1200. And this is where artillery usually sat when this map came um, before. Right there where I'm at or where the enemy artillery was. So yeah, also, I have a second game for y'all, so stick around to see that. Three kills in this game, almost 4,000 damage, 21 direct hits, made 107,000 silver. So what's the silver, what's the boost is like on this tank? 35% silver boost, 20% XP boost, and that's it. So fun yarns. Now let's go use our gun depression and actually put our three shot auto loader to the test. Now this is a really good match where this tank kind of just really does shine, keeping tanks at a distance. And just ripping through their armor. So, I'm going to go right. I'm going to go to this A5, A6. Try to use my gun depression. Try to use my um, turn armor. That's what I'm going to do. And put three... Basically what you want to do in this thing. Go hold down. Use your 7 degrees of gun depression. Go uh, pull up. Put three shots into the enemy. Fall back. And hopefully your armor will bounce some shells while... You're putting your three shells in. And you do have a very quick reload of 19.6 seconds. And if you put rapid loading on it, it drops it down pretty nicely. And yeah, so you can fire just the one shot reload and about 15 seconds later, if you have rations and rapid loading on, you can get your gun back. A full clip. And that's basically what I do in this game. Or just fire two rounds and reload. There's another Linus. Fun fact, he's not using the auto loader. There's a champion. And I put one shot into the Linus, one shot in champion's engine, and also one shot into his track. Actually, that's the Panther M10. And waiting for a reload. Gonna put three more shots into it. There's the Linus. Put one, two, and three. The inner clip reload is 2.5 seconds, like I said before. But I think this is also the longest inner clip reload of Czechoslovakia. Usually you have very, very quick inner clip reloads, just like the TVP 5051 at two seconds. It used to be, actually, is it 1.5? Also, here's a T29. Just what you could do to a T29 when it's out in the open. You see, we put three shots in there. Also, that's artillery. I don't know what artillery it is. Let's go back to the Iron Clip Reload. Like the Tiger 1 A118, the ultimate season pass of last season, has like a second Iron Clip Reload, I think. It's, I think it's a second or a 1.2 or 1.5. Usually, Czechoslovakia's Iron Clip Reload is very fast. Now, this one's just really slow. Also, that T29 stood no chance. It really did. Put three shots once in the open, managed to reload. And put three more shots while it was still traveling my way. I'm going to take out the best, push two shots into this Linus. 
Hello, Linus, and now you're dead. Dead. We've already racked up three kills, and two of them were just right there. And now I'm just gonna push up. I'm just gonna push up, go around the side. I do manage to absorb a shot in my track. Also, I, I've had, I bounced 1,225 damage in this tank so far, in this game. Also, there's another Linus. Fun fact, that Linus is used in the single shotgun. I'm telling you, there's a lot of Linuses out here that are using the single shotgun. I don't know if they don't know about the auto, the upgrade one, or they just prefer the single shot one. But I definitely prefer the autoloader because of what's just what's about to happen. Now, this clip, this clip I'm just about to use, man, this was a really good clip. You're, you're going to see what happens. So here's an OI experimental. And there's a Slug 3D, there's an RD. Put one shot in the OI, put one shot in the Slug 3G, and put one shot into the artillery. Just got three kills, fire three shots, three kills. Easy. Now, the Linus, enemy Linus, is going to come over here. He's using the single shotgun, and he caught me out in a reload because I wanted to kill those three. I do manage to bounce off the side of him, I think, with my first shot. And the single shot does have the better reload, has the better DPM. But when, if I could put my three shots in, he's going to die. But this is when the single shot would be better. Because, as you can see, my first shot in that clip kind of hit his turret or gun. And I put my other two shots in. And all he's got to do is put one more shot into me. Now I'll be dead. And yeah, that's just a single shot versus an auto letter in that VK32 um, try to jump on the Linus. Wish he did kill him, but wished he did kill him. That'd be kind of cool. So I will be doing a video on the single shot. Probably tomorrow or the day after. So that was 4,801 damage. Made 117,000 silver. I don't remember ammo racking somebody in that game, but I did. I'm guessing it was probably the artillery. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Fish, because always not. And peace out. See ya.